Okay, so let's look at some of the ways we can interface the Gendex sensor with a computer. Now these are designed to interface through a USB port, a USB 2.0, into a PC. Now when you buy the Gendex sensors new from the factory, they'll come with a set of calibration files which have to be installed. When you buy a sensor used on eBay, those calibration files do not exist. So let's plug this into the USB port and see what happens. Now the Gendex drivers have been installed, but the sensor uh, correction files have not been installed. Those sensor correction files contain the flat field and dark field and defect map of uh, uh, correction files for the Gendex sensor. Now those files are just indicated by serial number. When they are connected to the PC, it just looks at the serial number, so if you have the correction files from a different sensor, you can just rename them to the same sensors. It won't be the proper flat field and dark field files necessary to, to give you a clean picture, but it will trick the sensor to uh, be able to interface. Now with the sensor hooked up, this is the, the Cavo uh, drivers for the Gendex sensor. So this is the size 2 of the GSX700 sensor. You can see it's identified as 19.5 micron by 19.5 micron pixels with a 1324 by 1842 resolution. And it also has some contrast, brightness, and sensor information as well as serial number. However, that is not going to be very useful for us because in addition you'd also need uh, the dental x-ray software so I'm just going to close down to record the images so I'm just going to close down those Gen X drivers now what I have here is a virtual machine running Ubuntu 16 version 16 and uh, it's running on Oracle uh, VM VirtualBox so down in the corner of the screen, there is a USB plug. If you right click that, you can click on Fairchild Gendex 2. It'll then be connected onto the virtual machine. And on this virtual machine, I've downloaded uh, the, so the Python code uh, UVSCADA written by John McMaster. This is available for free on GitHub. It's basically a Python code to interface the Gendex sensors with Ubuntu. So I'm ready in the direct directory, so I'm going to do a dark field capture. The command is python capture.py-f-e. The f forces the trigger without uh, x-ray exposure. Normally the sensors would just be auto-triggering, and the dash e does histogram equalization. So it's going through the triggering it's taking the image, it's decoding it. And it's writing the image out to capture 000-png. So if we look at that, that's just pure white. The dental x-ray sensors, in contrast to the scientific x-ray sensors, have the color scales inverted to simulate dental x-ray film. So, dental, so on actual dental film, the white would be a lack of x-ray exposure, and black, when the film darkens, would be x-ray exposure. So the colors are sort of inverted. And looking at the histogram equalize file, you can see the outline of the sensor here. You can see the lines, which is just variation in dark current on the sensor. Now, if you were to expose this to x-rays with a flat field, and this, I just put one of these sensors in the Faxtron X-ray unit and exposed it to 35 kV energy X-rays. Uh, this actually, I believe, because the, these corners are slightly more tapered, is actually the uh, Dexus Platinum sensor, not the Gendex sensor, but they're basically the same thing other than a little minor difference in the corner. But you can see that the, the sensor exposure is basically just all darkened. 
Now, if you were to put something on the sensor, uh, this would be a ribbon cable on the sensor. So, and then that's x-rayed. Th these are, the dark white is the actual metal conductors in the ribbon cable, and the lighter white is the absorption by the insulation. Now, I've been working on trying to make this into a portable x-ray unit. One of the successes I've had is with the uh, Intel Compute Stick, loaded with Ubuntu 14.04, and using a Hamamatsu photo ionizer module. This is for static elimination, but it does gener generate low energy x-rays at 9.5 keV. Um, this will not automatically trigger the sensor, but so you'll have to force exposure, but it will register um, detection on the sensor. So here is an x-ray of a little metal uh, tool. So this was a sensor and this was a tool. This was positioned on top of the sensor and then the photoionizer module was positioned a couple of inches away. This is around five seconds of exposure. You can still see there's a lot of noise because it is very, very low energy x-ray, uh, low intensity too, and a lot of it's absorbed by the case. But it does work, so that does give some potential use for a portable, uh, very compact x-ray system. And here's also a picture of a cornflake. So you can x-ray things which are traditionally not very absorbent of, of x-rays. So in a future video, I'll show an uh, actual portable x-ray system I'm building.